Hi there, it's Mr Evans here with a uh, video on uh, demographics um, and we're going to be looking at how demographic factors uh, can affect costs and demand for business. So what is demographics? Demographics is the study of populations um, and we can study populations in terms of age, gender, uh, the um, race of uh, people within the population, the size of households within the population, all sorts of ways uh, that we can examine different populations. Um, this uh, just gone on to the Office for National Statistics and just taken off a few graphs to uh, illustrate a couple of points. Um, this one shows the average age uh, of people within the UK and we can see that there is an upward trend there the population on average is getting older um, uh, related maybe to fewer births and better healthcare I think this is a fascinating uh, graphic here showing uh, the age of people here uh, and the males and females in the population um, uh, along here okay so you can see where the bulges in population are um, and the final uh, slide here showing um, uh, immigration into the UK, emigration from the UK abroad and then when we uh, subtract the uh, emigration from the immigration that gives us our net migration figures. Um, so how do demographics affect businesses well uh, there may be an impact on costs so uh, the impact of uh, increase of the workforce increasing in age is that people will be working longer um, if you want a pension that is going to uh, keep you going into old age it's going to be important that you are working longer um, and therefore uh, businesses might have to adjust the workplace for uh, not only older customers but to make sure uh, older employees can access things and there may be a cost involved in that. Um, there are potentially training costs for migrant workers that are employed, language costs and so on. Um, the impact of migrant workers on wages is arguable that uh, an increase in the size of the labour pool uh, can reduce average wages although there's not much evidence that that's actually happened um, and uh, internal migration within the UK uh, to, to the southeast around the London area has pushed up rents um, significantly uh, so there is an impact on costs in terms of those uh, factors. In terms of demand, um, the goods and services demanded by older consumers, okay if you're a business um, supplying goods and services for older consumers I would say that uh, you know given the, the potential size and uh, increase in growth in that market that would be a good market to be in. Um, those services such as healthcare and um, you know uh, older consumers tend to be a bit wealthier so maybe some luxury products uh, may do uh, quite well. Um, Demand for products for consumers from ethnic minority populations. Okay, so if uh, migration, um, people from abroad, they may wish to consume different goods and services, so businesses uh, may look to supply them. I, I think about the local Tesco um, that I had in London, and that had a aisle dedicated towards uh, Bangladeshi food. Um, so, uh, you know, supermarkets often are aware of changes in their population, the, uh, eth the ethnicity of people in that area, and may well adjust their product offering to suit uh, local demand. Um, demand based on climate, well, what I mean by that really is um, a clothing shop in the southeast of England may well stock different uh, types of clothes to one in the north of Scotland which experiences a somewhat different climate. Um, so yeah, so uh, 
demand for goods and services um, can also be affected by demographics. Um, one more video looking at environmental issues and fair trade after this one.